of Knox. I used to have a camera up in the woods up here in the forest, in the state forest side. Recorded Knox up there. I heard that myself after I did the hand claps. Uh, up here soon will be the um, head of care. fire spot and the clearing shooting pit slash camp spot where I experienced the original activity in 2019. So you've had multiple things oh, yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah, multiple things, yeah. okay. Like I said, up here is where I had a trail camera, like uh, up in the woods. I brought Evan out here. I not going to happen, but I've been in Evan out here so many times, but like out of all the times, I can count probably on two hands of how course. many times something weird has happened. Yeah, of course. It looks like there's someone fire spot. It's for, I don't know what this guy is doing, but hopefully he'll be got him later, but the fire pit is down there. He could be shooting. People come out shooting here, too, so this is this is the power line right here. The shooting spot. We used to shoot all of, like, right over here. Is that person? Is that what he's doing? Do you see something? No, I, don't. No, I thought maybe he was shooting. They just cleared all this recently. But here's the power line. Oh, no so way. Up there is where I've heard stuff. Um, I mean, even a few years ago, there were no, there was no gate here, but they, the, and then every couple of years, they let the stuff grow over, and they cut it every couple of years, the, all the, wow. the brush and stuff. It gets so thick, you can't even see through it. And then this, on this side of State Forest, I've had stuff happen, too. Oh, Shots in the distance. I thought I heard somebody, dude. But we heard the branch break. Right? Something fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does it say invalid SD card? Anybody there? Hello? Definitely Need to know to keep our dog leash. Could be a deer or an ant. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm just saying that. So this is what's weird, right? I don't know if someone's playing a prank on us, but. Chris told, told me he's heard voices when he's been at that point before meditating. No. I shit you not. I shit you not. So this at one point was much more elaborate. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I have a... It looked much more elaborate when I saw it just last year. Just last year. You guys I mean, came... Last when was the first time you came here and saw it? It was uh, March. No, this is a different March, one. For me, it was March. This is a different one, but... So just this, just this year... I don't think I have a picture of it. Some of the weird stuff Evan and I found... Out here? Yeah, moose prints. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. Dang it. So, when did you come see this for the first time? Around when? This thing? I probably saw that. Well, I was shown this in 2020. Okay. So, almost, almost four years. years ago, yeah. Early 2020, like COVID, COVID started. And it was a lot more elaborate. Yeah, there was like a side piece and a back one. It just looked like somebody put it together. I, I'm not making any no, insinuations. It was good, definitely built. Yeah, yeah. It was built. We would use it as like a uh, marker. You know, this is where we turn back around. Gotcha. Okay. So it's deteriorated. The pieces aren't there. That happens. That's nat. That's nature. Yeah. That's what happens. It'll eat away at any time. You can see this trail. I mean, nobody takes care of it really. This is oh. beautiful. That's pretty deep right there. Yeah, that that right. might be a that little much. Yeah. Hey. Take a bullet. Whip it everywhere. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Can't tame the wolf inside. Can't tame the wolf within. No. Just trying to see if I see any impressions or anything. I'm looking through, yeah. Nothing, I mean, there's all this here, but who knows what that's Who knows, yeah. Let's see, I'm doing that now, too. Right. Look at it. Yep. But it bounces back quick. Yeah, it does. No, I just want to this cute little spot. This is great, man. This is beautiful. Beautiful. 
I mean, I kind of, you know, it's funny because that period of weed too, the COVID and everything. But I'm not going to lie, I kind of miss it because there's nothing else in the world going on. All I did. Oh, wow. I, I never did so much hiking. Dude, all I did was come out here, I go to Country Mile, gas is 169. <laughs> I'd get a sandwich, I'd go to Old Glory Guns and Ammo, I'd come out here. I used to come every day, basically almost every day in 2020, the whole world was locked down. Wasn't much else you could do. So I would come out here, uh, just get in the woods, you know, it was like a local shooting spot, hiking. I just did a lot of stuff like that, just kind of, I was working from home, right? It was boring, I had to come do something. Yeah. And I remember it was the day Massachusetts went into a lockdown. We live in New Hampshire, but I was working in Massachusetts at the time. So we had already been working remote for like a week before the official lockdown started because everyone started getting sick, whatever. Yep. I was just like, fuck it. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to cursing. So. It's all right. It's so Kyle. I, it's Kyle's channel. So <laughs> I was just, you know, I was, I was <laughs> not having to commute to Boston every day, which was really nice. But I got to just come out here and uh, the day Massachusetts went into a lockdown, I was out here and I sat on a log and I started hearing this brush movement and I'm like, oh crap. I see this brown thing. There's a lot of laurels and rhododendrons here, so it's very yep. thick and green. A lot of pine, white pine, um, coniferous trees, so it's hard to see. I see this big brown thing, and I'm like, oh, geez. It's a, it's a moose. It's a freaking moose, right? <laughs> and he's only, I mean, from where I'm standing right now in that tree line, he's like right in there. So what is that, like less than 100 feet? Something? Yeah. So, you know, he's he's somewhere in that range, or she, I, don't, I couldn't really tell. Um, it was in March, so... When they had no the antlers at the time and uh i start backing away and i just i watched this moose for a while all i had was my phone on me so i was like using snapchat video to, to get the best zoom because they have a zoom feature that's better than the iphone yeah <laughs> so then i started coming back here to try to get footage with my actual camera i had a canon 70d at the time so i could get nice pictures of the moose because they bed down here in the winter i've seen evidence of them out here for years and uh, I'm, it was a day when it snowed a little bit. I remember because there was turkeys, I would see their prints in the snow. And they, I, I had one fly over me. I was hearing gunshots coming from the other direction, very distinct. And I was in one of these areas that has been logged. And moose like to go in areas that have been logged. And I hear the gunshots on that side. And then I sound like very close. Somewhere along this kind of hillside, I hear like knock type sounds. And I'm like, okay. So I pick up a stick. I do it back. Waiting for a little bit. I hear it again, and then I, I did it again and didn't hear it again. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Starting to get a little dark. I have to walk back to my car. So I had to come up here to the power line and go back, whatever. And then I come back the next day with my brother. Pitch black. We're walking up here. So we, we start walking. You guys can walk with me. I'll show you exactly where we were. We basically get to here. We stand right here. So you've got a swamp there. The power line keeps going. I'm, I have my Zoom audio recorder. I start pulling it out, and we hear this absolutely crystal, like a percussive. Percussive. You know what the crazy part is? I turned to my brother, and I immediately said, "Dude, what did you just hear?" I mean, it was so loud and crisp and clear. And he says, "I mean, I don't know, a knock, but it sounded like if you were to hit one of these metal, see the the, the transformers for the power line." So we'll do a little experiment, right? Oh, I remember this happening. To somebody. I mean, and it sounded like it was there. Like, I'm telling you. So I pick up my audio recorder. I was literally pulling it out at the moment. I turn the audio recorder on. We, we were out here for an hour, just sitting here on the ridge. Didn't hear anything else the rest of the night. So I shit you not. I mean, but it, let's see if it sounds like this. It wasn't that loud. It didn't have, like, the... I mean, it was further away. I mean, we're sitting right next to it, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell unless I was over there, but... That's what it sounded like. I'm I'm convinced that if I had had a thermal, I maybe wouldn't be able to see something because it sounded like it was straight in front of us. But I mean, you can see that whole area. You can't get over there because it's a swamp. Right. We could walk through the woods and get over there, but it's gonna take us a little bit. Right. So that was weird, and it was it was crazy because my brother was here, so I immediately turned to him and said, "Dude, what did you hear?" And he's like, I, "I don't know. It just sounded like a a knock type sound." But it was metallic in nature. So crazy. And those those two, those are metal poles, I believe, right there. They're not the same as this one, but I think they're like that one. Because they started switching them out. Yeah. Uh, from the wooden ones. Because you see the wooden ones on the side, and the ones that are darker. Are well, like, these are the high-tension ones. Yeah, that's exactly. a, that's more public use. That's like, yeah. But, but they did, they started putting them in, I don't know how many years ago, but 
power line company will come in every few years and they'll trim all the brush here overgrowth right over here down to there but that was kind of how it started and then i just kept coming out here had some other stuff happen nothing definitive where brian and i camped back in was it april it's yeah march or april yeah. would have been into the woods that way because we walked out on the power line the other side so above this hill it loops around that's where we found that print print looking thing weird thing so looked like a print I mean, there, there's, I know for a fact there's moose here. I mean, there, the spot right in there, I mean, we could go check right now, see if there's moose scat in there. Let's go. Because they like these areas where uh, they bed down, uh, or they like to eat in these areas because when the big trees are clear, smaller brush comes in and they like that. Sure. So, this so we, we heard two, something big breaking limbs twice like in a row and then we just heard kind of a uh, about yeah, about 30 40 minutes ago and then we heard this kind of a we hear something else now something's moving again
to do with the new bird scene. <laughs> I want to build a parabolic. No, no, no. No. No, dude. A hundred percent. Like, I bet, dude, I bet my life on it. Okay. I know I believe you. A lot. You mean in Brian's direction? Like, you just like cross that, like across the face of the thing. Don't know how big it is, but that's my signature. I don't see shit. Pretty low to the ground. Two of them. I don't see shit. Yep. It was off a distance, but I heard it. Mm. And it was sounded like a mouth pop knock. It had that 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 kind of noise to it. Up at the top of the hill. Is there? No, oh, but I can't tell what the fuck it is. Can I see? I don't know. I don't know what's You got it? Yep. So you see the deer there? See the two deer? Hold on. Do you see them? Hold on, I'm trying to get my bearings. Yep. So look up at the top of the hill on the left where the trees are. You see that? Is it? Zoom in, you can kind of see it. How do I zoom? Uh, I have to, I have to. Is it way at the top? No. I don't I see it. I don't know it. by. I know by feel. 
Yeah, I don't see it. Might have moved into the woods. Because we think got all fogged up. Didn't see anything. Yeah, that's kind of the issue I'm having. It's just getting it's all fogged up. Yeah, so uh, one of the first things I had happen in this area was uh, August of 2019. I was camping with a buddy of mine named Josh from Massachusetts. We were going to go camp up north somewhere, but we didn't have time. It was a Friday night. We both started kind of late in the day. Came out, and I'm like, oh, let's just go camp here. And we did two nights of camping. One night here, then we went to a different spot. I had never really camped out here before. I was just like, it's close where I lived at the time. I'm like, yeah, let's just go here. So we camped here. So what this area is, is it's a little bit of a clearing in the woods. See the kind of trees around us? Yep. So we had the tent, just keep panning to your right, Kyle. We had the tent maybe right around here. Uh -huh. Somewhere in this area, the, a couple of these uh, like shrubs have grown in since then, but maybe it was like right around here. We're gonna stay here. So we had the fire, which is right there, down there the fire pit. We were just chilling. It was, you know, August night, pretty nice. And we would start hearing movement you know, in the woods right over here. There's something moving around, and we're thinking, okay, whatever. And then you'd hear something over there in that woods over there, moving around. And then we'd hear movement behind us at different times. And we were just kind of thinking, my buddy Josh is also into Bigfoot, so I'm like, so we're both pretty skeptical. I mean, I, have a, I didn't have a thermal or anything at the time. Um, and we. We just chill for a little bit. We keep hearing this, and that's pretty much where where it stops. I mean, we go to bed that night, had an audio recorder. It only had about uh, one bar of battery left, so it only recorded like 45 minutes out of audio. I didn't think anything of the audio. I didn't review it until a couple months later, because we went to a different spot that second night, so we like packed up and left, right? So I was talking to a buddy of mine, Dave McCullough of Squatch, Massachusetts, and they've done a case in this area and it's the closest geographical house to this area and they did a whole investigation i was trying to find out from him you know, where the address was and he gave it to me and i i looked at the map and i was like oh wow that's that's interesting and then i go back and review that audio this was like october i had heard the stuff in august i didn't review it until almost october right after i talked to him and i kind of got more details because i had heard about they had done a thing out here but i wasn't too familiar with it I started listening to the audio, and it's 20, 30 minutes into it, as soon as we fall asleep, you just start hearing, like, there's, there's one knock that sounds like a knock and almost a grunt afterwards. There was light stuff breaking, and like, there was movement. And we heard some distant coyotes before we fell asleep, but you could hear a snoring, and then you'd hear stuff around, and then the audio recorder dies. So I'm thinking, you know, if only I'd known what else was going on that night, but um, you know, it sounded like stuff was being thrown. So that was interesting. I don't know what to huh. well, I don't know what to make of that, but well, it was interesting because that was like the first incident out here, and I used to come to this place all the time back in the day in high school, and never thought anything of this area. It was just like a piece of woods. Yeah, right. Um, I think that's you know what, what happens though is that that, that it, you have that moment of clarity yeah. where you don't think about it until one day you're you're. Uh, for a lot of people, it's, you know, something happens that makes them think about it. And then they think back to potential things that happened before. And they're like, shit, you know, this is maybe this stuff's been going on for way longer than I knew. Right, or Right. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's strange. But again, I'd always kind of never really thought of it in this area. Both Josh and I were into Bigfoot, so we were super skeptical. We didn't think anything of it, and I'm not saying it was anything definitive, but it was intriguing. Yeah, so sure. So all this place, I've been coming out here for years now. I mean, for this reason, I guess, going on four years, but previously I've been coming here since I was in high school, so it's just woods, you know? Yeah. But uh, in the four or so years I've been coming out here, in 2020, heavily, I mean, like almost half the year, I was out here all like at least twice three times a week at minimum uh you know if i if i didn't have anything else going on which i didn't because it was covid but you know. right uh yeah and out of all that time i've been coming out here there's like a handful of moments that were weird that i could put in a strange category and that's it i can't say anything definitive about them they're just but again weird. a handful of moments in four years or five years yeah. is a lot when you I talk about this they? stuff yeah 
If that is, but again, if, if that's is, what it is, if it is what it is, which I don't know, we don't mean, know, you know, but you know, sounded clear as day. Someone said something. Yeah. I just assumed, I mean, unless there's somebody. You said someone must be over there. So we've had one mishap so far. I almost cut my finger off. Point us in the direction of the big hairy guy. Of guys, girls. I'm in the I'm I'm on the market for a lover. If she's built like Patty. <laughs> I like a thick and fit girl. Curvy old fan. <laughs> <laughs>